really honored to be asked to talk about Wally the Music Man. We were looking back and realized that you know, I knew Wally and Terry for just less than three years. I just couldn't believe it. You know, it had to be longer. I swear I've known them for a decade. Uh, but that was that infectious personality that he had on everybody. When we met him, it was an instant friendship. No questions asked. I just liked that guy. I wanted to be around him all the time. If you're ever going to make a band, you know, he's the first guy on the list you want in it. There's no doubt. Music was a great love, of course, next to his family. Music was a great love of Wally's. He was so talented. Um, I didn't know he played the accordion, but he learned the accordion first. And he self-taught himself the guitar, the harmonica, the piano. Um, I try all them things, but he was excellent at all of them. No matter what he did, he could do it if he wanted to. Unbelievable talent. And then his vocals. Uh, Wally had a great rock voice. I mean, he could sing, you know, Billy Idol stuff to the soft ballads and have a beautiful voice. I mean, he was really skilled. As you mentioned in Crokey, there's no doubt why he'd make the crowd just go off, because he could sing anything. Um, his band, Loose Cannon, uh, which many of the members are here tonight, very talented band, all talented musicians and great singing, as we heard from Biden as well. And Wally complimented that with his voice and musicianship. Um, I was so impressed that I had to hire them to do a New Year's show in our home, privately. Um, I thought it really be fun. And Wally said, now remember, anything goes. You gotta come up to stage, you gotta sing, you gotta play or do whatever you want. So it was a lot of fun for all of our friends to see who's can and play. Um, and a couple of times, uh, you know, Wally and some of my friends, we put a band together to play just to have fun and throw a party and just enjoy music. And when Wally would sing, I'd try and harmonize with him, and when I'd get it just right, he's always, he'd, he'd always turn back and give me that Wally smile, I'm like, dude, you just nailed that. <laughs> you know, it just makes you feel good. He really appreciated good music, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, we created a music club in our house. We call it the Cavern Club, so it's downstairs. It's a stage, music, lights, karaoke, everything. We wanted a place where musicians could show up and just plug in and play and have fun or throw up karaoke and let everybody enjoy themselves. So naturally, uh, Terry and Wally were regulars at our house because they Wally liked to watch everybody sing and perform and play. Um, one night, Wally got up. He decided it was time, so he dedicated a song to Terry. And it was Foreigner, waiting for a girl like you, and I'll never forget it. And he started singing, and the jaws dropped everywhere, including mine. And I'm trying to poke my wife and I said, are you hearing this? I mean, it's not just singing the song. It's, you know, when someone makes it unique and makes it his own, it was unbelievable. Later that night, I told Kathy, my wife, and said, man, I got work to do. <laughs> I, I can't even repeat that. It was beautiful. I've never heard a better rendition of that song ever in my life. Um, most recently, I retired from work because I just like to play around with music other than, you know, be a pro like Wally. And so I said, what are you going to do? And I said, well, I want to get back to writing songs again, and I want to go record them out of Pachyderm in Cannon Falls. And I said, would you like to play guitar? And I was thinking in the back of my mind, I got the harmonica, I got keys, I got the voice, I got the harmony. Well, I just got to get them out there. Would you like to record them out there? He said, absolutely. Um, so that was just the end of the year here, and so I'm, you know, I'm sad that I won't have that opportunity, but uh, he just would have kicked it right down the road, I just know that. Um, I'm going to miss you, my friend. I'm going to miss you more than you'll know. And I'll, I know one thing, Wally left us full of love, and the reason why I know that 
is because I believe in the last line the Beatles ever recorded. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make.